If you're anything like me, then you've probably killed a few plants. In fact, you've probably killed the plants no one thought you could kill. And you've probably had a few weird looks when you've mentioned that you actually couldn't keep that succulent alive. You know, the succulents people thought lived forever. The ones that have barely any requirements. The ones that you thought you had to water when you randomly remembered in the middle of a Tuesday night. The problem is that I love plants. I really do. I love the green and fresh scent a plant can bring to a room. I don't like feeling that I can't keep a plant alive. It's actually pretty embarrassing. It's okay though. I'm here to save the day. I'm going to give you some advice to keep your plants alive, or, you know, tell you the plants to buy that are much easier to keep alive. The real trick is to just not buy anything that requires too much maintenance, especially if you still can't develop that green thumb. Here are a few great plants for your home. These plants are relatively low maintenance, but can still brighten your entire room. The key is to look at the lighting and watering requirements. Most house-friendly plants won't require too much direct light and will only need watering every few days. Plus, you never have to worry about the snow that comes in the random summer months killing your plants. If you're from Colorado, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Three of the best plants to keep inside are jade, aloe vera, and rubber tree. The first plant we will talk about is jade. Jade's cute little leaves that change color can really brighten the room. Here are some quick facts about jade to help your plant thrive indoors. Jade needs bright light and some sun. The soil should be dry between each watering. If you're like me, you've probably overwatered a plant until it's practically floating. Let it dry. And something to help you know your plant is healthy is that the leaf margins turn red in enough direct sunlight. The second plant is aloe vera. Most people are aware of aloe vera and the benefits the plant brings around the summertime. Aloe vera needs bright light and some sun. This means you should probably place this plant closer to a window and not in that dark corner you are considering. Just like jade, dry the soil between waterings and don't overwater the plant. Something neat about aloe vera is that the leaves have medicinal uses. You can actually break off a chunk of the leaf and use it to heal sunburns or moisturize your skin. Rubber tree is the last plant we will talk about. Rubber trees actually feel like rubber and can have a unique charcoal green color. Rubber trees need medium to bright light. It's probably okay to place this plant a bit further from a window. Something that is common between all three plants is that the soil needs to be dry between waterings. Finally, this plant removes chemical toxins from the air. I'm not too sure how, but how neat. So, get out there. Plant some more plants. Find a plant partner in crime, you know, someone to hold you accountable along the way. And most importantly, never stop growing. Just remember, plants need sunlight and water, just like you do.